Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me here today for another great product con. My name is Dan Chu, and I'm the Chief Product Officer at Waymo. I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit about my, my career path, what Waymo is really working on, and how I think about some of the key philosophies that have guided Waymo, and also touch on some of the job opportunities that are available at Waymo. Let me tell you a little about my role as Chief Product Officer at Waymo. The product organization at Waymo consists of product management, strategy and business operations, UX research, UX design, industrial design, technical program management, as well as product data science. Together, our org is responsible for delivering the product roadmap and requirements, the best company strategy, specifying the user interfaces and flows into both our software and hardware elements, and ensuring effective execution in part through the right metrics. I'll explain more about Waymo in a minute, but first, I thought I wanted to give you a little taste of my background and my personal career journey. So I was born in Boston, and I went to Stanford undergrad, studying both computer science and economics because I was really interested both in programming and computer science as well as finance. But when I came out and was grad, when I was graduating, it was in the midst of the dot-com boom, so I really felt compelled to explore my technical interests and started in software engineering, especially since I wasn't sure for how technical I wanted to be, I figured I'd start more technical and be able to transition the other way versus the other way around. I worked at three different venture-backed startups, all in the enterprise SaaS space, and I had a really amazing time. At the end of the three startups, I took a step back and I had two learnings about myself. One, as, as inspirational and fun I had around software engineering, I didn't see that as my long-term career path. And then secondly, while I really believed in the business models of enterprise SaaS, I wanted to think about what was the legacy that I wanted to leave in terms of my career. So I started volunteering at some nonprofits, one of which was called the Benetech Initiative. It's based here in Palo Alto, working on a project for developing software for securely reporting human rights violations. Spent some time at the United Way of America as well. That convinced me that I wanted to expand my skill set. I went to grad school at the Harvard Kennedy School and Harvard Business School. And um, actually, as part of that journey, I thought I was convinced that technology wasn't going to be the path to societal impact that I wanted to go. Um, I thought often technology was more about uh, convenience and, and cool gadgets than necessarily societal impact. But once again, the economy somewhat intervened, this time on a negative side. Um, it was in the midst of the financial crisis, and it felt like, oh, maybe this was not the right time to go into finance. I was going to hide out in tech for a year and then and then, uh, and then reestablish things. Lo and behold, though, I fell in love with product management uh, at, at Google. I was working across Google Maps and developing a business for the uh, Google Maps developer platform. And then when an opportunity came up at Waymo, I really could resist. This really felt like the intersection of amazing technology, tremendous social, uh, social impact, as well as a real sustainable uh, and compelling business model. So let me pause there and tell you a little about um, what Waymo is about, because I'm really thankful that my career journey brought me here. So Waymo is a autonomous driving technology company with a mission to make it safe and easy for people and things to move around. Fully autonomous technology holds the promise to improve road safety. Driving today is definitely not as safe as it could be, which is why safety is really at the core of Waymo's mission. There are over 50 million injuries every single year and over 1.3 million deaths due to crashes every single year. And around 50% of the folks affected by this are actually pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. And there's also a clear theme to the vast majority of these incidents, human error and inattention. 94% of the crashes in the US involve human choice or driving error whether it's speeding, which seems to be picking up even more during, during a pandemic, distraction from our phones, lack of sleep, the dangers of drunk driving. There are a lot of factors that lead to these unfortunate statistics. So over the last 10 years, we put our technology through the world's longest and toughest driving test. We've autonomously driven more than 20 million roads, miles on public roads, over 20 billion miles in simulation, over 20 to 25 cities. That's over a thousand years of human driving experience that benefits every single vehicle in our fleet. And so during this time, we've been building the world's most experienced driver, what we call the Waymo driver. 
And we really are deploying these in two primary applications, what we call Waymo One, moving people, especially in the context of a ride handling service, and Waymo Via, which ranges everything from our long haul trucking initiatives to local delivery. So let's take a step back and think about how autonomous driving works. It could actually be summarized in four key questions. The first question we have to answer is where am I? So we build detailed maps that highlight key information such as curbs, traffic lights, and other road features. And we take these detailed maps, combine them with live information from our sensors, and we can compare them, which gives us a detailed and very precise sense of the, of the vehicle's location. Then to answer what's around me are sensors, the LIDAR, radar, cameras. Constantly look for objects around the vehicle, such as pedestrians, cyclists, vehicles, and any obstructions that might be in the way. Now that we know what's around us, we also have to figure out what, what those objects will do next. Our software predicts the movements of objects around us based on their speed and trajectory, and how the Waymo driver has learned different road users behave. And it does, then uses that to predict the many possible paths that their other road users might take. Based on all this information, the Waymo driver determines the optimal trajectory and speed to help progress along this route safely. Our deep understanding of the world is what helps us confidently handle complex situations and manage rare and unusual situations that you may never account, encounter in your entire lifetime of driving. Here's where I wanna talk about some of the key product philosophies that I think have been really useful for Waymo. One was around the importance of being iterative. To build such a transformative technology, such as the fully autonomous driver, we've learned that we need to adopt an iterative and incremental approach to rolling out technology. It's been important for Waymo to live and breathe this iteration, everything from selecting the right product to build to safely rolling out fully autonomous rides. So we started back in 2009 as the Google self-driving car project. And we actually were focused on building a system that could drive on freeways, but even but still requiring driver oversight. So in 2013 was one of the key iterations of our product. We actually decided to pivot from that original product to fully autonomous technology, which is often referred to as L4, rather than driver assist, which is referred to as L2. We learned that the only way to solve the problem of roadway safety was to take the human completely out of the loop. And this decision was informed by some of our earliest testing. We invited some Google employees to test out the system on their commutes, their weekend trips, with the clear guidance that they need to pay attention and be alert, ready to take over at all times. What we saw was extremely concerning. We saw people texting and driving, applying makeup. And this video that you see here was the one that caused us to shut down the, the, the testing after just a few weeks. The driver fell asleep while hurtling down the road at over 55 miles per hour. This over-reliance on assistance technology was an incredibly valuable insight we learned, and it's why we believe nothing short of fully autonomous driving technology will do. This is, this is the image that we're talking about here. And you see over the course of the video, other things, right? Like whether it's looking for our charger or um, other elements of distraction. This iterative approach has been continued to be instrumental for Waymo, taking a step at a time and introducing the technology to the world. In 2015, we took the world's first fully autonomous ride on public roads in Austin, Texas. In 2019, we began matching riders with fully autonomous rides as part of that trust to tester program. And then in 2020, we opened up the fully autonomous ride handling service to the public, allowing anyone to download the app and hail a fully autonomous ride at the tap of a button. And this year in 2021, we began our trusted tester program in San Francisco. Let me quickly show you a video of some of our Phoenix riders and their reactions to their first fully autonomous rides. No, driver, daddy, see? That is nuts. It's pretty crazy. It's Neither like there's a ghost, a ghost at the steering wheel. 
kind of feel like royalty being paraded around in this thing. School zone. Look at these guys. <laughs> Looking over. Are they? <laughs> no driver. Go! No! What? He's so way more big as cruising. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretty sharp turn. I know. You made it pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do I say thank you? We're here. We made it. And I didn't have to drive. So fully autonomous rides are a reality today. We serve the people of Phoenix every day with our ride handling service. And we've begun serving members of the public in San Francisco as part of the Trusted Tester Program. The Trusted Tester Program is another example of where iteration has been important. It allows us to test new features and capabilities and use this feedback to shape the public service. These riders were an important part of our community in Phoenix, and we're excited to welcome them into our cars in San Francisco. Another philosophy is, as guided Waymo is the idea of working within existing ecosystem and supporting our partners through our technology. As part of our partner philosophy, we've established key partnerships across the transportation space, representing different ends of the mobility spectrum, from ride hailing to local delivery, to operations and even public transit. And our partnerships with vehicle OEMs exemplifies this partnership philosophy. We look to OEMs to bring their expertise in vehicle manufacturing, which allows both of us to focus at what we're best at. Here are examples of three vehicle platforms we're currently integrated with the Jaguar I-PACE, the Daimler Freightliner, and the Chrysler Pacifica. And one last example of how partnership has been important to our approach is tackling the uncertainty associated with new technology. Together, we launched Let's Talk Autonomous Driving, the world's first public education initiative on autonomous vehicles, partnering with national safety groups like AAA and Mothers Against Drunk Driving on the shared belief that autonomous driving vehicles have the potential to save lives. Finally, social impact at the core has been, and, and as a core of our mission has been really important for guiding our decision-making and even the culture of Waymo. It's been a long journey for Waymo and there are many more challenges ahead. So it's been important to build a mission-driven organization that is committed to the social outcomes around safety, access, and the environment. Too many people die as a result of traffic crashes. We talked about some of the stats earlier. Hundreds of deaths occur on US roads every day. And actually NHTSA recently estimated that more than 20,000 people died in vehicle crashes in the first half of 2021 alone. More fatalities than any year since 2006. It's only, the problem is only getting worse, not better. We also see fully autonomous technology opening up access to transportation for all types of, of groups. Over 20 to 30 million US adults can't get a driver's license for anyone, any, any reason or another. We wanna give them their mobility and independence back. And last but not least, we believe in the benefits that fully autonomous driving can have for our environment. Today's cars spend over 95% of their life sitting idle. With fewer cars on the road, it's a significant opportunity to redevelop significant amounts of land currently devoted to parking. Fully autonomous ride hailing combined with electric vehicles can also be a powerful force. Today, plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles still only make up a small percentage of vehicle sales today. But we're proud and intentional that both of our current vehicle platforms for ride hailing are electric or plug-in hybrid map platforms. Iter iterating, focusing on partners and building social impact into our mission have been three themes that have been important to Waymo's journey. If what I've shared today resonates with you at all, I encourage you to check out some of the openings in the product organization at Waymo. We have a number of different roles within the Waymo pro uh, product org, some of them that I mentioned earlier, and they're listed on this slide. Full-time opportunities are posted throughout the year at waymo.com careers, with positions available in the Bay Area and beyond, with a number of work modalities, including hybrid home office work modes. With that, my time has come to a close. Thank you for letting me share a bit about my journey and what we're building here at Waymo. I wanted to uh, introduce you to Shweta, who is a senior product leader here at Waymo who leads product management for autonomous driving behavior capabilities. If you're interested, please make your way to the Waymo booth 
She's going to be happy to take questions live in her own career journey, the interview process at Waymo, and some of the product philosophies she has to share. So please make your way over there, and it'll start shortly. Thank you for your time.